One way to evaluate cure in the field is to evaluate the solvent resistance of the coating itself. And the only way to really understand if it's cured or not is to compare a finished product with a known cure. This particular panel was uh, sprayed in the Vitricoat Innovation Research Center at the recommended cure parameters and we know that it's cured. So what I want to do is be able to compare this solvent resistance of this panel to my finished product. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take methyl ethyl ketone. It's a very harsh solvent. Some organizations may use a toluene or acetone mix. We're going to use MEK for this test. The test is I'm going to submerse the Q-tip into the solvent and then I'm going to do 25 double rubs. One rub, two, So as you can see, we've got some discoloration in the, in the material and we got some pigment lift. This product is the known cure and this is how this particular product shall respond when fully cured with MEK. Now I'm going to do that same test with this panel. And as you can see, the panel itself doesn't look much different than the known cure. But we know that this is under cure because we did it in the lab. And I want to show you the difference in the way this product performs to chemical resistance when compared to the known cure. Again, same material and same 25 double rubs. So after eight double rubs, not only did we get a significant amount of pigment lift, but I was able to get all the way through the coating to the surface, illustrating that this is absolutely not cured completely when compared to a known cure. It's a really good test in the field, gives you a quick reference, and what you need to always keep in mind is that parts have different metal masses. Always evaluate the thickest mass because that's going to be your worst case scenario and compare to a known cure.